I have recently shared videos and pictures and blog posts about how I fill Bokashi compost in pots. It's such a good way to take care of the household waste in a good and direct way in the garden, I think, with such a good result. Each time I share videos and, and pictures about this, people get back to me with questions about the worms. How on earth did they get into the pots? So many, what happened? Did you plant them in and how do they get out? So today I would like to answer those four questions for you. I do this work, I fill the Bokashi compost and I uh, top it with soil. I leave the pots on the ground. From the ground the worms come crawling up into the pot by themselves. I don't plant them in. It could come some worms with the top layer of soil that I put on the compost. It could contain like, well, a few worms, big or small or whatever. Well, in a way they are planted in, but most of them comes from underneath. I am very careful to choose pots only only with holes in the bottom. This is to make sure that the worms can move in and they could also leave whenever they are finished. Well, basically they transport themselves under this layer of um, wood chip and whenever they could like smell the smell of fresh compost, <laughs> they are coming to uh, just move into this pot. And so they do by those holes in the bottom. So they are placed in this um, bucket or, or container or pot, eating, eating, eating. While living in this pot, they just love life. So they reproduce themselves. That is why it's so easy, you know, to see those bigger worms and those very, very small worms. There are so many sizes here. In a couple of weeks, maybe months, depending on what type of material the compost consists of, they eat and they are decomposing the material. When they are finished, they leave the same way as they got into the bucket, through the holes in the bottom. So I never do this type of compost in a closed system because then it would be difficult for the worms to get in or out. So literally you don't have to do anything except filling this uh, Bokashi compost in pots and then put it on the ground and the worms will come. And that is how it works. Okay, finally I would like to empty a pot filled with Bokashi compost just a couple of weeks ago so that you will get to see how it really looks when worms are in like a perfect activity in this pot. It's just amazing to see the activity and how quick they move. I mean they escape the daylight as I don't know what. In just a few seconds from emptying this uh, pot they have all disappeared. But as you could see, they are quite many and they are in different sizes, as I said. I think that I filled this pot in about three or four weeks ago. So during that time, quite some things happened here. I mean, this is what gardening is about, to, to create and to be in friendship with nature. Soil and worms, that is the thing. <laughs> So be nice to the worms in your garden, create uh, nice and healthy restaurants for them, feeding them with uh, your kitchen waste or garden waste or whatever, in a pot, in a bed, in a greenhouse or polytunnel, outdoor in the main kitchen garden, wherever you can find the space. And in return you will have fresh and healthy soil that is better than anything you could buy really. So take care of the worms and they will do the job for you. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you want to see more videos from my kitchen garden. I love to do them, so hopefully you will give me a thumb up and come back for more. Thank you for today. Bye bye.